Mr. Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? So I got a few messages that Robert Hellenius will be back in action September 10th, and his opponent is going to be Constantine Ayers. So shout out to all you guys that sent me that message. I went and I looked it up for myself. But before I get to that, I actually did videos. Uh, well, one video I did three months ago, and I was talking about Hellenius coming back July 2nd after the dual Pokeo loss. I mean, he was ready to get back in there immediately. He came out with like that. A statement a few days after his loss so he's been wanting to get back in there and then a few months after that went by i did another video saying that robert hellenius is in the tyson fury camp and he's going to be back september 10th so that was like two months ago when i did that video so i know that uh he was going to be back for a while here i did about three or four videos on it but there was no opponent to be announced um so i know he's should be in some pretty decent shape he's been in the tyson fury camp up until Fury got injured, and then he also said that he wanted to get a piece of that Vladimir Klitschko camp too. So he will be back September 10th against uh, my man Constantine Erich. Now Erich is a guy; he's going to be a lot shorter, you know. Uh, so he's going to have that going against him going into this fight. Um, he is a tough journeyman. Um, I know I did post fight videos to the Filipovich fight that he had. Um, where he beat that prospect two times. And then he just lost to uh, Zimnok a few months ago. And Zimnok, Christoph Zimnok, lost uh, in dramatic fashion to Mike Malo. Got knocked out in the first round. Stunning knockout. I did a post fight on that, uh, a post fight video to that fight. Um, so, yeah, he's lost to Zimnok and he lost to Sergey Kuzmin, a undefeated Russian prospect who I've done a prospect. Um, a prospect watch video on also so and then when he stepped up against alexander yusinov he lost andre Rodinko he lost so in his last five fights his only win was to uh, robert filipovic and that was a um a up-and-coming guy who had i believe three fights or two fights at the time that he fought constantine erich so when he has stepped up and fought he's got stopped but he is you know he's he's a he's a short guy Short reach, you know, a uh, stubborn type of guy to get out of there. Type of guy like to put up the high guard, let you get off, and then try to get his shots off. If you keep him at bay with a jab, you're bigger than him with a longer reach, a longer jab, or just a little bit more active than him. You can control the fight, and you can get a win over Constantine Erich. So I'm expecting Robert Hellenius, at the very least, at the very least, squeak out an eight-round decision. It's scheduled for eight rounds. An eight-round decision, if anything, just using his height and his reach advantage and just putting his weight on Constantine Ayers and just wearing him down. You know, Ayers is going to come in probably about 230, 225, somewhere in there. Um, much smaller than Robert Hellenius. He's going to be giving up about six inches in height, about six or seven inches in reach, and a good, I, I don't know, 30 pounds probably in weight. So I expect Hellenius to get through this. Now let me go ahead and read what he had to say in this article. Um, like I said, www.paf.com. I'll leave this article in the description. Um, but he goes on, he just talks about this fight. He says, I have met Constantine at sparring camps in Germany before and have sparred with him there. Okay, it says Hellenius. Um, he says, he has had tough matches against tough opponents, among them Anthony Joshua. With all those matches, he's sure to be in good shape. I will certainly be a good fight for me facing him. Um, it will be a tough and exciting match. I think I'll keep to my own boxing style and show off a better version of myself than last time. I'll make sure to make use of my height and keep him at a distance. Um, I want to show everyone that I'm back after my loss in April and that this match is another step forward. And I even want to show myself that I'm back and continuing towards my goal of becoming world champion, says Hellenius. All right, so I'm just getting this news out there. Probably closer to the fight, I'll do a more in-depth uh, breakdown and go over things that I want to see him do differently than he did in the Johan Duopil uh, fight. Just getting his news out there. I'm out.